hurt our neighbors, our friends, and our children in school. We cannot predict how much Senate Bill 5 will cost Ohio in terms of federal dollars that require sustained support for collective bargaining laws. More important, we cannot predict, predict the harm this bill will do to families, to communities, and to the children of Ohio who attend public schools and colleges. But we can say this, everyone who has advocated for the passage of Senate Bill 5 has called for flexibility in cutting costs, but nobody can say what that means. I'll tell you, it means silencing the voice of teachers and school employees who advocate for a high quality public education for Ohio's children. It means it will make it easier to increase school class size. It will make it harder to get individual attention for students who need help. It makes it easier to outsource more services to companies that cannot be as dedicated to making school lunches healthy or making our schools safe and clean environment to learn. Senate Bill 5 will make it easy to ignore the voices of school employees and higher education employees. Improving opportunities for Ohio students, it will make it easy to ignore our pleas for better classroom resources and improve teaching and learning conditions. That's what flexibility means. The Ohio Education Association is flexible and collaborative in so many ways, but it will not abandon the principle of collective bargaining, and we will not be silent in our advocacy for students. In a tough economy, with Ohio facing a major bu budget deficit, we must focus on the essentials. Nothing is more essential than giving our children a quality